Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to learn how to create invoices in Zero projects by using the project's estimated income. This video is part of a full series on Zero projects. So if you wanna learn more, check out the link to the playlist in the description below. So let's jump into Zero now and see how it's done. So we'll just start off by creating a new project. And we'll just make it say ABC Furniture and we'll just call it repair doors and we'll just pick a date. Okay, so what we wanna do is we want to put in an estimate. So you can actually check this box and calculate it from tasks and expenses, but we'll just put in our own manual estimate. So we'll just put in $1,000. Okay, and then just hit create. Okay, and what we've got is just a small project with an estimate there of $1,000. So what we can do now is we can actually invoice the project amount and we can do this at any time. We can do it right at the start, we can do it in the middle or we can do it at the end. And you can see that when you click on it, it just brings that estimate through. So you can go ahead and change that if you like. You can put in a custom amount. So maybe if you just wanted to um, say invoice them for $500 first and then 500 later, you could put 500 in here or you can change it by the percentage here. So maybe if they need to put in 50% or 20% or something like that, you can go ahead and do it. And if this is the final invoice, you can check that box to mark all of the items as invoiced and you can check that box to close the project as well. So there's a range of different things that you can do by creating invoices from that original estimate that you put in. So what we might do is we'll put in custom amount and we'll just make it $500 for the first invoice and click on open. Okay, so that's just taken us through to a draft invoice. So all we need to do is just put in a due date and then put in a GL account code. So I'll just make that sales. All right, so then you've got your project here, um, repair doors, ABC furniture is the customer. And we're just saying that we're sending them an invoice for uh, the first $500 of the estimate plus GST is 550. So we'll just hit approve. Okay, so we'll go back to projects and we'll have a look at our project. Okay, and there we go. So we've got the original estimate there of $1,000. It's been 50% invoiced, which is the $500. So now after that, we can go ahead and create um, another invoice out of the estimate if we like, and we can also create other types of invoices such as time and expenses. But just to finish this off, let's just say that we've actually finished this job now. So we won't worry about filling out all the um, tasks and expenses, but we'll just create our final invoice and we'll do it off the project amount again. Okay, and you can see that zero has automatically assumed there that we want to build the rest of it. So that's the other 50% there, the 500 down the bottom. And just for the sake of it, let's mark it as invoiced and close the project. Okay, so once again, we just need to put in a due date and our GL code there, and we'll hit approve. Okay, back to the project. All right, and that one will be enclosed now. And there it is. There it is, okay. So the $1,000 estimate has been 100% invoiced and you can see it there. And then if we go into quotes and invoices, you can see both of our invoices there awaiting payment from the customer. So that's how you can create invoices from your original estimate. 